So all the videos that you have seen about Fountain Hills has just been about how amazing it is and how wonderful it is. And it's the best ever. Well, you want to know really what it's like to live, work, play in Fountain Hills. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Good, bad, the ugly coming at you right after this. Hello, this is Cheryl Willis over at the Real Agent Now group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. And if this is the first time to our channel, you're going to want to tap that little subscribe button, please, and click that little bell so that you are notified each and every time we release a new video, which is twice a week. Look, we want to be the beginning of your search. We want to be a partner with you. We want to get you the information specifically that you're looking for, and you're not going to be able to get it. You're going to definitely be watching a lot of videos and doing a lot of your own internet search, but when you're ready to get the answers specifically to your questions, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends. We want to be your go-to when you're ready to make that transition to the Phoenix area. All right, let's get at this. I can't wait to share Fountain Hills with you. All right, guys, I'm going to start the video actually with a question for you. Will you be living in this particular home full-time or part-time? And there is a big difference, and that's why I'm asking you. Let me tell you, Fountain Hills is literally two different cities between when time and summertime. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about living in Fountain Hills full time. Okay. So the median age right now is about 58 and the average age though, over all the homeowners is over 65. What exactly does that mean? It means that we have a lot of snowbirds and part-time residents in the city of Fountain Hills. Look, less than 25% of these homes have school-aged children. There's such a small population of children in Fountain Hills that there's only one high school with more than 15,000 homes and 25,000 people that live there. One high school, and that total enrollment is only 500 students. So that just goes to tell you that, again, the majority of these homes are retiree or post-retiree. Now, I recently received a phone call from a couple that is looking to retire in a couple of years. They are right now in their late 50s and they were kind of trying to evaluate where they wanted to make that purchase, make it a vacation home in the winters right now, and then eventually move into it. So we were talking about what they wanted to do when they were on vacation or in early retirement. And they were more interested in taking advantage of everything that the Phoenix area had to offer like shopping and dining and entertainment, festivals, concerts, museums, all kinds of activities. Horseback riding, trail hiking, mountain biking, pickleball. I mean, there's so many things. But when you are in an isolated area like Fountain Hills, although it's attached by a mountain range to Scottsdale, it is detached really from the rest of the greater Phoenix area by about a 30 minute average drive to just about anywhere. Depending on where you're coming from, if you're already used to having to drive 30 minutes to get to whatever you need or want to do, then it's really not going to be that much different. Just know that you're going to have that drive if you want to get to the choices, the many, many choices that the Phoenix area has. If you are currently working, you're going to find it difficult to find employment in Fountain Hills. Most of those jobs are going to be kind of like services and maintenance and repair dog groomers, baristas, store clerks. There is everything you need in the city of Fountain Hills. Everything from grocery stores, there's a Fry's, a Safeway, there's Target. Who doesn't love Target? But if you're looking for Costco, you're not going to find it there. You're going to have to drive into Scottsdale. Now, what's that drive like? It's as long as you enjoy the mountain-esque, beautiful views, and you don't mind slower driving, you're going to have a 30-minute drive every day. Don't speed <laughs> on Shea Boulevard. In fact, the roads that are in the town or the city of Fountain Hills. They're all beautiful. They're all windy roads with mountain views in every direction. You have mountain views. You have new mountain views. You have desert views. I am telling you, as many times as I go out there, it's breathtaking. I'm not going to take that away from the city of Fountain Hills. It's just kind of a slower pace of life. If you're there in the October, November timeframe, you're going to see a lot more cars on the road. Your friends are going to be coming in from out of town from the colder countries. We call those snowbirds. And you're going to see a lot of activity. You might have a little line at the grocery store. You might have a little wait at the restaurant because there's only a few little restaurants. In fact, I love
love coming up this way. I'm up by Fountain Hills, especially in the summertime, literally every other week. My favorite spot to go hiking is just north of Fountain Hills by only about 30 minutes. Sycamore Creek. Sycamore Falls is way up in northern Arizona and the creek comes all the way down into the Arizona area. And I love this little tiny place called Sunflower, Arizona, where I love taking my dog for creek walking pretty much year round. And then when I come back into town, my favorite is to stop right at Shea Boulevard, which is the main road through Fountain Hills and how you will get to Scottsdale. And I use the restroom at Tractor Supply. I'm telling you, they know who I am. They know my dog. I wash my hands, buy a little treat there. And I would love to have a few choices other than fast food where I could take my dog to sit on the patio and I can enjoy a lunch after our hike. And unfortunately, there isn't any. Maybe there's one, but it's really few and far between about having a restaurant with that allows dogs. Also from a dog perspective, my pup and I went to a festival there in the April timeframe, which April is a relatively nice time of year. So it wasn't too unbearable, but you can start to really see like when you want to just take a break from the sun and you're looking for a tree to sit under, there's no trees. There's literally no, I'm not talking about neighborhoods. I'm not talking about people's homes because you can plant whatever you want, right? I'm talking about public walkways. I'm talking about in between the stores or over by the fountain where there is a beautiful fountain, the fountain from Fountain Hills that will erupt, I don't know if that's the right word, at every hour and half hour, unless it's windy. But the point is, is there's no trees to get that reprieve from the sun. So there are beautiful trails, but there's no shade. So as long as it's cool temps, and my idea of cool temps is under 80 degrees with my dog, then, then you're fine. But anything over 80 degrees with the dog is not really a good thing to do. In fact, Arizona has a law at 100 degrees, you cannot bring your dog on any of the trails. So for my dog, so when we go walking around the trails, um, the dirt trails aren't as hot, but the concrete walkways and trails, which are through the beautiful desert, it's not good half the year. So that's something you have to be aware of. You're going to also pay just a little bit more for just about everything because it's kind of a little bit more remote, slightly higher sales tax, your groceries. I get this information, by the way, on bestplaces.net. It's not a personal choice. Let me tell you, the people that live in Fountain Hills will tell you it is the best place to live in the entire world. And whenever I do a video and I don't say that it's the most amazing place in the whole wide world for every reason, they come after me. So I'm going to tell you my sources and the sources at bestplaces.net will tell you that the groceries are a little bit higher in Fountain Hills than they are in Phoenix, that the transportation costs, that's going to be a lot more because you're going to be spending a lot more money on wear and tear, gasoline, maintenance, oil changes, crack windshields, tires. If you live in Fountain Hills, there is nothing walkable. Even if you live in Fountain Hills out of that 15,000 homes, maybe 20 or 30 homes are walkable to a store. They are beautifully remote. There are some areas that have really big lots. Your pool goes straight out to zero edge and all you're seeing is beautiful, open desert. It is simply stunning. Depending on the direction you're facing, you're either seeing the morning rise, the sunrise, or you're seeing the sunset. It is, I am telling you, it is truly one of the most beautiful places, but I don't know if it would be enough activity for someone as outgoing and vibrant as I might say I am. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm a homebody, but when I want to go out, I want to have choices. I want to go check out a brewery. I don't think there's any breweries. You can get a beer in Fountain Hills. Also, you know, like if I want to just go get a cute new shirt to wear. The only thing you're going to find here is places like Target and even the grocery stores have some shirts, clothing sometimes. But if I want something nicer, I'm looking at one of the boutiques and that's going to be a lot more expensive. So again, you know, repairing a car repair, you're going to pay more there than going in into town like Scottsdale. So again, it, there's, there's pros and cons. If you are looking for a reprieve, a quiet place, something that's a little slower pace of life, you have everything that you possibly could need. Like I don't have to shop at a Nordstrom, 
But if I wanted to go to Nordstrom, it's only that particular at Fountain Hills is going to be 35, 40 minutes away in Old Town, Scottsdale. And here's another thing that everyone will tell you that everything is 30 minutes away from Fountain Hills. I'm going to tell you it's a minimum of 30 minutes. So if you take Shea Boulevard, which is the only way to get into Scottsdale directly from Fountain Hills, it is a beautiful drive through the mountains. Through, you're literally going through a mountain range. One side is Scottsdale, one side is Fountain Hills. But here's the thing, once you get to that Scottsdale sign, you do have Mayo Clinic right there, but not everyone goes to Mayo Clinic for medical care. So you're gonna go even further to go into Banner, which is gonna be another 10, 15 miles on a 40 mile an hour road. So from Fountain Hills, it's at least 30 minutes to get to that freeway, which is the 101 right by that Banner Hospital. And from there, you have another 10, 15, 20, 30 minute drive to get to wherever you want. So I'm going to tell you the worst case scenario, it's not 30 minutes to everything you need. It's a minimum of 30 minutes. I love the diversity of housing in this area though. You have everything from condos, you have townhomes, patio homes. I'm telling you, there's not a lot of duplex type of style buildings in the greater Phoenix area. I love what they have in Fountain Hills, very unique homes. So if you are a part-timer, it's really kind of nice having maybe somebody next door that lives there full time and they kind of watch over your property. Not that you want to inconvenience your neighbor. There are also people you can hire to check on your property on a monthly basis and just make sure everything is okay. And there's also a lot of people that do short-term rentals. In fact, there's 350 short-term rentals within the city of Fountain Hills. So if that's important to you also to not be near any of those, you're going to make sure you want to do that research before you start looking for property. Now, if you are looking for luxury, I am telling you, you will find it here. There is some absolutely gorgeous, beautiful mountain view. Honestly, there's very few homes that don't have mountain views. There's very few homes that don't have desert views. If you need grass in your front yard, this is not the city for you. Because if you're the one in like a thousand homes that has grass, people are going to be looking at you like, why are you wasting our water? It is nothing but desert landscaping. And there's a reason for this too. I was showing a home up this way and the home was absolutely stunning. And all the homes were kind of nestled up in the mountains. These are million dollar homes. And they just kind of blended in with nature, which is why we have so many earth tone homes. Some people don't like it, but that's why. So that it doesn't take away from mother nature. And anyways, all these homes, they were just gorgeous. And there was one home that had a balcony and they had these bright blue chairs on it. <laughs> and I'll tell you, we were like, see, that's why you don't have the colors here in Arizona, because it kind of took away from that picturesque, beautiful mountain and the homes kind of blend into it. And I'll be honest with you, the golf courses are amazing. If you are a golf player, there's two public courses. And if you are looking for mountain views, desert views and golf course views, you can have them here in Fountain Hills. Condos starting two bedroom, one bath, thousand square feet, maybe a little old, but it's a nice little getaway for you. Those will start right now at about 200 $150,000. What a bargain. And again, you can get everything from up to the multi-millions. You can get a custom brand new on Eagle Nest, which is a very coveted mountain that has multi-million dollar homes. You too could have this beautiful new home built just for you for $5 million. Or you could pop on over to Fire Rock. There's plenty of $5 million choices. If you are looking for a new construction, there is one builder out there right now, Toll Brothers. Everybody knows Toll Brothers. And if you don't, just take a look at them because I'm telling you, their homes are stunning. They're spectacular. But let me forewarn you on this. Number one, every single one of their models literally takes half of the base price and that's how much they have an upgrade. So if you see a home that says starting at 1 million, it really means this model is showing you at 1.5 million. It's definitely not a bait and switch, but it's certainly trying to upsell all their amazing amenities and upgrades and such. Today, you can get a patio home it's, it's like a patio home. It's still a single family home. It's the two homes that are adjacent to each other. Two bedroom, two bath, two car garage for 2,000 square feet, not 2 million, for $1.1 million. And that's a finished home. It's already been started and can be yours too. All you just need to do is give us a call. Look, if you guys are looking to find that perfect retirement area, many a times it's not necessarily a retirement community, meaning a 55 plus. There is amazing adult resort communities in the greater Phoenix area. We have a very large retirement community here in the greater Phoenix area. If you are looking for some of those type of
the benefits of being in a community that's a little bit quieter, very safe amongst other people around your age. This is a really good choice and something you might want to consider without having to pay those 55 plus resort fees. If you are a young retiree and you're still very outgoing and you like going out and doing things and having more options and getting to know your neighbors, you might want to think twice about Fountain Hills. But I'd love to have the conversation with you one on one. I'd love to talk to you about what I like to do and what you like to do. And we can then compare whether or not Fountain Hills would work for you or not. I'm going to tell you, good, bad, and the ugly. If you have a lot of energy and you're looking for that perfect outgoing place, I'm going to say Fountain Hills is not for you. If you are looking for something safe, secure, quiet, restful, Fountain Hills is going to be perfect for you. All right, guys, give me a call. Let's have this conversation one on one. Even if you are not ready to buy yet, even if it's a year, two years down the road, retirement, you can never plan too early for it. And I know that you weren't necessarily looking for a retirement video, but honestly, again, that's the vast majority of Fountain Hills. So I'd love to hear from you. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. These nights are weekend. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona. Until next time, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.